Hello everybody and welcome to a Minecraft mod review. Today I'm doing the uh, Balkans weapon mod. It adds tons of new weapons to the game, as you will see shortly. Okay, here we are. In the world now, what, which side is this? Uh, okay. So these are all the weapons, all weapons, parts of weapons, ammunition of weapons. And I'm just going to start off here with the training dummy. So this is how I do mod reviews. I uh, go through and I make all the new items. I put them in the chest in the correct order in the crafting bench. And I just explain what they do. So this is a training dummy. I'm going to put him over here. And oh, you right click to collect him. You can just punch him infinitely. He won't die. Ever. All right. Now I'm gonna go the melee round first. So that's how you make a spear. It can be made from anything. I just chose iron. It can be wood, gold, diamond, whatever. It's a spear, and it stabs. You can stab people with it, or you can throw it, and you can recollect it every time. It does less than a sword, though. So, and you can throw it pretty far. So that's a spear. Next is a knife. Which you can actually make in your 2x2 uh, two two in your inventory. Which is just a knife. Now it's good to have a ton of these. Because they're actually, you can stab with them or you can throw them. And they, um, yeah. They like spin and they have that sound and everything. They go really far. So um, I'm just going to show off the... Uh, what I like about them. I like if you have like a, a huge stack of them, you can just completely spray everything. Just kind of like that. So, yeah, that's the knife. Next up is the halberd, which does uh, more than a sword, more damage than the sword, and it has a uh, bigger uh, knockback. So let's test this out. I should probably spawn some stuff. I'll spawn some stuff later, like at the end of the episode, and uh, try all this stuff out. So, um, you just attack with it. It does more than a sword, and it's higher knockback. Um, so let's just spawn in a pick here. See, uh, yeah, that's... Okay, you come here. And so see that's how that works and then if you right click with it it switches to the spear side and it does even more damage I'm pretty sure and it it also but it has yeah it does more damage it has a less knock back, knock back so the iron one is a one hit to pigs on the stab side which is pretty good so that's the halberd halberd whatever you want to call it next is the battle axe and the battle axe does big damage and big knockback. So let's put this in here. One piece at a time. And yep, that's what it looks like. And it just blocks on the right click. Yeah, one hit for pigs, uh, even on iron. So if you can get an iron battle axe and you want to slay some pigs, you know, just click away. And there's not really much special about the battle axe. And then there's a war hammer. Now the war hammer is one of my favorite weapons. I'll show you why in a second. Once I make it. So it's just like boots with a line of sticks down the middle. There you go. And I'm going to change it to morning again. And um, let's see how much damage this does. So it's not a one hit, but it's a two hit. But one thing that's really good about this is let's say you're getting like over encumbered and you don't know what to do. Take your war hammer, right click on it, and um, everything around you explodes 
it doesn't hurt any blocks, it doesn't hurt you, it just hurts enemies, or just mobs, not enemies. So as you can see, I'm charging it up. You hear the explosion. Can't see it because I have the particle off. Um, what would that be? That would be on all, maybe? Smoke animation's on. Explosion animation's on. There we go. See? That's what it does. So yeah, that's the Warhammer. And then this is just a Javelin. Which is just a uh, throwing item. It's not very strong. But uh, it throws... You get two of them when you make it with two sticks and stuff. But uh, And you charge it up like a bow. Then you throw it. And it goes really far, <laughs> as you can see. Yeah, that one went off my screen. So yeah, that's a Javelin. And this throwable dynamite, which I'm kind of... Oh no, I used it. The explosion isn't too big, but when you make one, you get two. So what you do, you, uh, you charge it up and you throw it. And it just explodes like that, regular TNT. Doesn't make too big of a hole. But, uh... Yep, that's throwable dynamite. And next on the list is a flail. Now this is pretty cool. So that's how you make a flail. And just like that, you get an iron flail. And um, as you can see right now, the, uh, the ball is on it, but when you right click it, the ball goes off. And it's in the real, real world, world now, and it just follows you around. And actually, you can hit stuff just like that. I guess. But that's not fun. So if you right click, you throw your flail. You like fling the ball, you know. And it, it just follows you around like that. And then when you uh, when you click out of it, it goes away. So there's the flail, the fire rod. Not too useful unless you um, you don't want to cook your pork or I guess steak. Uh, it's a one-time use fire stick, and it just sets them on fire. And I don't have my pat game patch. I don't think. Or do I? No, that's just because I uh. I have fire off, and then you get cooked pork chops. So that's pretty cool. And there's, oh gosh, I don't want to get into this one. Yes, I do. Um, oh gosh, why did I put that in there? So, th and there's a cannon, <laughs> which I actually didn't figure out until I read the forum. Oh my gosh, this is, this is really cool, actually. So you go like this, and this is the crafting recipe for it. It's like iron in a sideways U shape and a flint and steel and wood. And you get a cannon. I'm going to come over here for this. You place the cannon down. And you get gunpowder in your inventory. And and then I'm going to show you how to make the cannon ball, which is just five stone and like a starish shape, I guess. <laughs> So, you get cannonballs. Like that. And then you right click to sit on the cannon. And now I'm in it, and I actually right clicked on it with a cannonball. Now I can look around everywhere, and then I jump to fire. I can right click on it again. And load. Boom. So, this is a really, really cool addition. As you can see, it goes really far. The animations in this in this mod are amazing. The textures in the mod are amazing. I just really love this mod. Now, I have to go back to the beginning now. So that was that side there. Ended with the cannon. Sprint back to the beginning. And do this side. First, uh, this is like guns. The gun side. So, um, this is how you make the gun stock. 
which is needed for every gun. It's just two sticks and a piece of wood on the end. A musket barrel. If you want to make a musket, you need a barrel for a musket. So let's just make that one. So there's your musket barrel. And then to make an actual musket, you just put a barrel on a stock. Barrel. Stock. And then you get a musket. Now I'm going to keep that in my inventory because now... Oh, and there's also a musket with a bayonet. You put... I'm not sure if it's just an iron knife or if it's any knife. But, uh, yeah, you can get a bayonet. And I think it's just higher melee. Then you need the musket round, which is paper, gunpowder, and an iron ingot on top. Most of the crafting recipes are practical. I'm not sure where they got this. I think uh, the paper is like the to hold the gunpowder. But what's really cool about this mod is right click, reloads it, and when it flicks like that, you're ready. And then, oh no, never mind. There you go. When it flicks like that, you're ready. And then uh, this works like the bow as well. You zoom in, and then you shoot. And there's a recoil on everything. Okay, so. Boom. As you can see, my. Uh, I'll just show you how it's uh, how the recoil works. I'm looking straight forward, and then I just pop up when I shoot. So that's the musket and the bayonet. Now this is the crossbow, which is really cool too. You just need a bow, four iron, and two wooden planks. Just like that in the crafting table. And, yeah, there's your crossbow. I can't do anything yet. But that's because I need the crossbow bolt, which is just an ironing it on top of a feather. Ironing it. Feather, and you get four bolts. And this also requires reload. So it flicked like that. And then it fires just like a bow. Except the bolt goes farther, and there's less, uh... There's less down thing. It shoots faster, I guess. That's it for the crossbow. Next is the blowgun. Which, uh, reload time is fast on this. But, um, oh, the damage is really low. But, one good side is the, the darts are poison. Poisonous. So, like, when you shoot a mob, it gets that green stuff around it, you know, when you, uh, eat rotten flesh. And it get keeps getting hurt. So I'll show you on a pig. If it won't move. There you go. And see the green stuff is going. It, it keeps getting hurt. It probably won't die in one shot. No. See. Now i got to hit it again. There you go. Let's see how many shots it is. Well, the pig's not cooperating. Oh, okay. That was MLG. So that's the blowgun. Not too useful unless you just want a simple weapon. Now you need a. Now there's a the blunderbuss, which is basically a shotgun. So to make that, you put. And this is just the barrel. Like this. And then I need a stock. Because it uses the same stock. Oh no, I don't need one actually. So yeah, that's the barrel. And then the blunderbuss is a barrel and a stock. Blunderbuss barrel and a stock. Makes a blunderbuss. The blunderbuss round, you need paper on the bottom, and then gunpowder, and then gravel. And you put them in that order in the crafting table. You get the rounds. And then you uh, reload it. Like that, and then uh, it sprays bullets. And uh, the closer you are, the more damage this does. And it it uh, does a ten round spray like a shotgun. As you can see, it uh it pretty much cleared those out. Those pigs, I killed like three in one shot. Let's see if I can get a three or something in one.
No, I just hit one that time. Uh, let's see. Uh, line up, guys. Need like a, f a quint. Uh, uh, see, that's pretty good. I hit that one way over there. I don't know how that happened. Let's see, f just from this demo, I'm level 3. And now I'm just going to um, get my favorite weapon, the knife, and uh, mess, with, mess around with these pigs. Actually, I'm going to get the... Uh, even though those are pretty cool, I want the, uh, the spears, because they do more damage. And I love the fact that you can recollect all of them. So yeah, let's just mess around with some pigs here. Get them going good. Chuck some spears at them. How did I get hurt? Oh, I walked into it. Yeah. Actually, um... Yeah, so uh, thanks for watching this mod review on the Balkans weapon mod. I hope you guys go get this mod. It's very, very good. Oh, it looks like throwing it doesn't waste the durability. Maybe... Here, let me uh, hit you. Yeah, only hitting mobs wastes the durability. So if, if you just throw one, the durability won't go down. That's awesome. You can just pick it up, throw it, and walk forward, pick it up, throw it. So yeah, that's going to be it for now. Just for this mod, uh, thank you for watching. And download this mod, because you can kill yourself with spears and knives. Ow. Okay, see ya.